Aptos High School students returned to school today for the first time since one of their classmates was stabbed to death on campus. Earlier this week, a 17-year-old boy was attacked by a 14-year-old and a 17-year-old, according to the Santa Cruz County Sheriff's Office. Those two students were arrested and are expected to be in court later today. The district attorney's office will be filing charges today, um, but they were both booked for murder charges. The stabbing happened when students were in their last class of the day. The victim was located near the pool of Aptos High School. A deputy began immediately rendering aid CPR um, in the victim was life flighted to a trauma center outside of the county where uh, they unfortunately passed away. Um, Within an hour or so, uh, deputies were able to identify the two suspects involved and uh, detain them and make those two arrests. Um, the suspects were in, one of them was in a classroom with other students on lockdown. The other one was in an admin building also with other students on lockdown. The identities of the suspects are not being released because they are both minors. Law enforcement authorities are also not releasing the victim's name. For those who knew him, they say he grew up here in Aptos and he was a good kid. He, he wasn't a guy that had an edge. He was just a, a lovable human being. And my wife taught the victim at uh, Valencia Elementary School and three different times. And uh, my son was a good friend of the victim as well. He just wishes he was there to stop it. That was his reaction. You always wonder what their reaction is going to be. And, and his was that he just wishes he was there to, to stop it. I was out with community members this morning holding up signs showing love and support for teens who may be nervous about safety on campus. I thought, well, why don't we greet them down here yeah. with a really positive message of love and support um, and that we care about them. Santa Cruz County Sheriff's deputies used to serve as school resource officers at Aptos High School. However, SROs were eliminated by the school last year. Now parents are wondering what the new safety plan is. We had had a great relationship with Pajaro Valley Unified School District for 20 plus years, um, having school resource officers at those schools. And, uh, you know, we are ready to staff that again. If they, if they sign that contract, we will staff that immediately. Um, school safety is a number one priority for us. Like, like we said before, no child should go to school and not come home. I'm Amy Larson reporting for Cron 4 News from Aptos.